Hey y'all, welcome back to the party. It's me, your girl Britt Reacts, and today we're reacting to Chinchilla Fingers. Let's see what she has to say. Ooh, Ooh we live for a silhouette. Probably some Panicked and you said hello Swallowing the words you say You know I'm not okay But let me tell I ain't cold Now you're coming back for more You know me, you know I cave But scars will never fade So me I was trying to find like the right place to stop but there really was no right place because she's really like storytelling right now um what do you think i'm going to talk about first if you think it's this like lampshade pounds tooth uh blazer jacket thing bingo you're right i love it i love it it's odd and great all at the same time i love the oh, oh, oh that she's doing she's so good at like the haunting of it all you know what I mean it's just like she is able to dig in and reach into a place um, that I don't think you can do inauthentically I think you really have to have these feelings you really have to have these emotions you really have had to have felt these feelings and experienced these things to sing from where she sings and it just is like it never feels surface it always feels so deep um i also recognize that i think every time i've watched her she's had these fingernails which the song is called fingers and she started doing like this hand thing so it stood out to me um i'm not sure if that's a signature you know look of hers or or what but it's just an observation Obviously, her vocals are out of this world. Um, but yeah, those are my opening thoughts. One by one, I'll cut your fingers clean off. Clean so off. you can never pull me down. One by one, I'll box them up. Scream murder. Woo! No, you can never hurt no one. Who's going to tell me that that's like not the best? Dun, 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 dun. And like you didn't want to make that, like you didn't want to move like this while she's singing it. That is a really cool, like just the cadence. The rhythmic movement of that is so chilling, haunting, cool inspiring i don't know it just is so many i love when an artist can like indicate their emotions through their like choices i don't know that was so cool to me Murder. no you can never hurt no one so tell me where you're gone gone and tell me is the fun gone whoa maybe i should shed a tear this was me last year, so meet me late at night where no one hears us. I won't bite, and one by one, I'll cut your fingers clean off. The clean off is so like you really you get the picture of unfortunately someone getting their finger cut off one by one like you when she does that clean off like you get the pain that she's trying to inflict because of that um that choice it's really freaking cool it's kind of demented but it's really cool <laughs> so you can never pull me down never pull me down one day one i'll box them up box all 
all the way open. Throat box, all the way. She threw that thing back in. Let us have it. Um, to, to the lyrics, I think, you know, unfortunately we go through situations in, in our lives. I can certainly relate to you kind of having to choose between saving yourself and like allowing someone to just continue to hurt you because you're the bigger person or it's you're taking the high road or, you know, people tell you like, um, you know, turn the other cheek or don't let people hurt you. But sometimes you, you, you've had enough and you're like, you, not only am I not going to let you hurt me anymore, I'm not going to let you hurt anybody else anymore. You know, and I think that that's kind of the message that she's saying. She's like, I'm going to chop your fingers off so that you can't hurt anyone. No one else can fall victim to it. And then I will shout that <laughs> it was me <laughs> kind of thing. That's what I'm getting. Let me know if you agree or disagree in the comments. I'm happy to to hear all sides. So I think these are these are songs that are adaptable to many situations for me. You know, that's what I hear. And I think that's just a really strong message of choosing yourself and not allowing because I believe I subscribe to the fact that like people only people are only allowed to affect you the way that you allow them to. Right. Like they're only allowed to hurt you if you let them. They're only allowed to get X amount of, you know, space close or away from you if you allow them to. And if you say no, enough is enough then you know you win in my opinion coming back for you and she is in the shape of me and I also think going back to the lyrics she's saying I'm gonna cut them off one by one put them in a box and then I'm gonna scream murder and I actually don't think she's screaming murder for her so she's like this is the person who did it she put you in a box and caged you in and called you out you did it not her your hand your fingerprints are all over the crime scene those are your fingers in the box come get them come get her come get this person right here <laughs> like Ooh, karma is coming in the shape. This, I love, y'all, can you feel that I'm like, this song is resonating with me right now? It's like, girl, who hurt you? Oh, man. Oh, man. So keep them close to you. Put your keys in your knuckles like I have to. Man, that was a nail biter. <gasps> the notes she was hitting, though, were like that of like an opera performance, but it was you know, the context matter was not that and the tone wasn't that either, but it was incredible what she was doing with her voice. I don't know if I feel like she's underrated because, you you know, she's maybe way bigger in the UK than she is here in the US, but she needs more attention here in the US for sure. 
I mean, all right. Let me know what you think, how the song reads to you, um, if you're able to apply it in other situations. But I definitely feel like this is a... Um, it's a song about, you know, not allowing people to bring you down and deciding not only to stop them, but expose them. <laughs> I love that, guys. All right. Go and have the day you deserve. Peace. Hey y'all, before the video ends, I just want to let you know, merch is here. Well, it's coming. It's just a few days. <laughs> the Have the Day You Deserve collection is on the way. It is available July 4th for all Patreon members and July 11th for everyone. I have left a preview here on the screen for you. I hope you are as excited as I am and I hope to get to see you in the merch. Go and have the day you deserve.